To help us understand why China made the decision to announce an ADIZ, we have Italian journalist Francesco Sisci. Sisci is a columnist for the business daily Il Sole 24 Ore. He's based in Beijing. Welcome back to the program, Francesco. Thank you. Now, some Western analysts say the ADIZ is a mistake done without much thought as to reactions from its neighbors and the U.S. Others, though, say it's a well-thought-out move to further China's ambitions to be a great power. What do you think? Well, I think it's something in between. It was a move, but not to, in a way to expand its power, but just to contrast Japan. But it was uh, a decision made without actually fully understanding the dynamic of the balance of power in Asia and, I would say, the balance of power in the world. I mean, you cannot think of uh, moving against Japan in the airspace uh, and uh, thinking that this will not have global reactions also in other fields, also with other countries which, or governments, which are actually, till yesterday, were siding with, uh, with China, like uh, South Korea and Taiwan, these two governments actually decided to condemn, uh, censor the Chinese movement. So it was a major loss for Beijing. So definitely a backlash there, it sounds like. Some Western observers say the ADIZ and the challenge to Japan is an attempt to keep Chinese hardliners distracted while China goes about its economic reforms. Do you agree with that? Yes, uh, I think... Uh, Xi Jinping now is moving fast on really uh, far-reaching economic reforms which would change the dynamic of uh, politics and economics internally. But then he has to prove his mettle. He has to prove that he is not a, a weakling ready to cave in to whatever pressures comes from abroad. It has to prove that these uh, uh, moves, these reforms, uh, are not taken because he, he is just... Uh, obeying the orders of some foreign powers. He's actually trying to make China stronger. Therefore, this move. So he's trying to assert his dominance, his power. What does this tell you about claims that China's rise is going to be peaceful and its neighbors have nothing to fear? Well, it says uh, something in between again. I mean, China's or Chinese leaders know that there is only one way to rise, and that is to be peaceful. And 30 years of history in the past have proved that. In a way, if China was entangled in even a, a minor friction or trade war, this could disrupt the whole process of development. However, things uh, don't go always on a straight line, and tensions in China and out, China, out of China can take things uh, astray. So dynamics are very complicated and not uh, all the leaders are in full control of all dynamics, unfortunately. And unfortunately, sometimes things escalate. We'll keep an eye on what happens. Francesco, thank you. Thank you. That was Francesco Sisci, veteran China correspondent and columnist for the Italian Daily, Il Sole 24 Ore. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.